Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Jessica here at First Federated Church. This Sunday is our Pretzel Prayer Sunday. Now, we can't get together at the church to make pretzels this year, and so we wanted to post our children's message about the pretzel monk for you all. And this year, again, our pretzel monk is Mr. Kent Kowalski, and so we hope you enjoy the pretzel story. A long, long time ago, about 1400 years ago, there lived a religious man called a monk. This monk lived in a monastery in a little village in a country called France. And this monk had two important responsibilities, baking the daily bread for the other monks and teaching the children in the village their prayers. Well, one day the monk was busy kneading the bread dough while he watched the village children playing in the snow outside of his window. They were having so much fun. As the monk watched and kneaded, he thought to himself, it's too bad the children aren't as interested in coming to church and learning their prayers. Over time, the village folks had become less and less interested in coming to church. And this saddened the monk. If only there was some way to get them back to church, he thought. The monk continued to work the dough and ponder this problem. As he was finishing up the last loaves of bread, he was suddenly struck with a most original idea. He thoughtfully gathered up the leftover dough pieces and began to roll them into pencil-like strips. Then he twisted the strips around and pressed the ends to the top of the loop. It looked like someone praying. You see, in those days, people prayed by folding their arms across their chest. And so, to this religious man, the twisted dough loops looked like arms folded in prayer. Ah, a preptiola, he declared, which in Latin means little reward. So the monk opened the bakery window and called out to the children. Come in, come in. Say your prayers and I will give you a preptiola, or a little reward. Well, it didn't take much convincing because children have always loved treats. Soon each child had learned a prayer and proudly received their little reward. Rushing home, the children excitedly told their parents. Word of the monk's idea soon spread throughout the village and children and parents alike visited the chapel to receive a pretiola. Soon it was known the world over as, can you guess, a pretzel. The secret of making great pretzels is not only in the baking, but also in the shaping. We, like pretzels, are made from the best ingredients and shaped by the best hands available, the hands of God in heaven. Have you ever seen a broken pretzel or one that has lost its shape? We too can lose our shape when we don't pray often and ask God to guide us. Even in difficult times, we must remember to talk to God in prayer. The simple shape of the pretzel, arms folded in prayer, reminds us to pray each day. Our pretiolas or little rewards are the many blessings we receive from God. Every time you see a pretzel, remember prayer and check to see if your arms are often folded in prayer and have not lost their shape. Now, let's all fold our arms and pray together. Dear God, shape us and guide us. Show us the path to life. Help us to not be afraid to talk to you. We know there is no right or wrong way to pray. Just remind us to talk to you often, to stay connected with you so we can hear your wishes for our life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.